Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to What's Up Vlog 139. And I am knackered. Uh, this is a, a very special vlog, actually. Um, no, well, I, I was going to about to say no Zwifting, but I think there will be. Uh, but the reason this is a special vlog is because I am in a little hotel in the, uh, the Lake District. I'm going to be meeting up with Jesper Anker and Tim Fulford of Cycling Hub and Franklin Bespoke fame for a bit of swifting, some serious torture up some serious hills apparently, and uh, just all round good fun, I, I'm hoping and I imagine. Sorry if I'm a little bit flat, I've just driven, I've been in the car about six and a half, seven hours, absolutely shattered. Um, just got into this room, actually pleasantly surprised by this room. It's, in fact, it's, it's really big. I could, um, I could easily set up a Zwift station over there if I, if I needed to. Um, but I think the boys uh, have got that under control. Um, so yeah, Vlog 139 is going to be a bit of an epic, I think. We're taking on some hills that were completely unfamiliar to me until the invitation for this weekend um, but I've watched a few YouTube videos of them now and I'm pretty scared I've got to be honest Hard Knot Hill is one of them and the other one what oh, I can't even remember the name it begins with W I think why 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 knows why knows something <laughs> something like that probably nothing like that but um, I know they both form part of the Fred Witten Sportive, which is notoriously difficult, and apparently we're going to be riding up them, so that should be fun. Yeah, I am, I am knackered. Oh, I think I'll carry on this introduction after I've had some sleep. So, see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I've had about probably two hours sleep. No, that's a lie. About four hours sleep, I reckon. I feel absolutely shattered, but I'm trying to wake myself up. I know we were, we were going to try and have a nice early start today. Um, obviously, I didn't get here till late, and then I'm I'm terrible getting to sleep, and particularly terrible getting to sleep in um, unusual surroundings so hardly yeah it took me a long time to um, to finally fall, fall asleep last night so I'm absolutely shattered but I will get up now freshen up there's a crack of light coming through the curtains so I'm going to get my first daylight view of um, Barrow in Furness um, I don't think my first view is going to do it justice because I'm in a little sort of industrial park you know in a travel lodge so i don't think that's really going to be um representative of the area that i'm in uh, but i'll go and have a look and then try and find somewhere for some breakfast um, i'm going to give tim a call in a minute find out what the uh the day's itinerary is and um try and wake myself up i've been charging the uh etap batteries and my rotor they've all been charging all night so Hopefully they're all good to go. Um, GoPro, did I charge the GoPro? Yeah, I think I charged the GoPro as well, so. Should be all set. I don't even know if we're riding outside today. I think that might be tomorrow. It might be might be a Zwift day today. Um, but I'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna wake up. And, um, yeah, give Tim a call, find out what's on, what's on the cards. So, I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm out of bed, I've walked to Dobby, it's absolutely miserable weather as you can see but we are having an indoors day today thankfully 
Oh, just pop me down there for a second. I keep looking at the wrong side of the camera, don't I? It's over there. Not there. there. Yeah, luckily, indoor day today. So I've got Bianca, my specialised, in the back. I've got my turbo trainer. I've got my kit. I've got a couple of gifts for the boys. And shoes. Have I got the shoes? Hang on. Yep, shoes are there. Uh, yeah, Zwift day. Let's roll. He's already filming. Of course he is. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hey, mate. How you come doing? in. This Look. is what Jesper Anka really looks like. And this is what so he says to you. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right, come on in. I'm, I'm already recording you from down here. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, need oh. to, we, need, we need to get together, don't we? Yeah. Right. I was trying to do that, but I, I was going forward and you were going back. Ah, okay. Well, I'm going to stop at this junction. Where are you going? Oh, you're coming down here. Back to you. Okay, okay. You're gonna, can you push the centre of that? Oh, that's just like, yeah. Yep. That's good. Oh. And then uh, grab the black and turn it clockwise. How much? We're going with we're going with uncopyrighted music today. Okay. So where are you both? Just, just at the bottom of the KOM. You're not going to start. We're not racing up this. We're not racing up this. Do a lap first, Jeff, before we race up this KOM. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you need a long 30 minutes. Or we can up. spin around and do the reverse. And do the do long like KOM. Like no like, way, no way. Do like an hour stream, and then we'll have lunch, and then we'll jump back on. We need to have a race up this at 54 KOM. What's your uh, What's your time? Your best time up here. 204. Yeah, it's not good. That's not good. You need to be about 30 seconds. I did a, one, a 139 and I got dropped by six seconds by Ian Bibby in CDR. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to um, chase his box hill time once. Right? <laughs> Real box hill. Still that okay, wait, I can't remember. Really well, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the extent of my reaction to a break. Oh, shit. <laughs> Two seconds. Oh, look at that. Hey. <laughs> That's what my erg mode looks like on my driver. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> well, I've got to open this window. Is it to the middle or is it out? Yes. Uh, yeah, halfway here yeah, like that. And then it means when you're about to throw up, you can put it all the way to the top. And just chuck I won't it. have time for that. <laughs> chuck it out. I'll just, uh, <laughs> I can get it through that gap. All right, guys. As a lot of you already know, I'm with the Jesper Anchor <laughs> and uh, the Timothy. Are you Timothy or just Tim? I'll just take Tim. Just Tim. So the Jesper Anchor and just Tim doing a uh, doing a live stream for Cycling Hub and WKG. And uh, I've seen the magnificence now that is the Cycling Hub TV studio. <laughs> and uh, it puts my little setup to shame, I've got to tell you. Uh, we are going to do, so have we agreed? We're going to do one gentle lap. Social spin. Social, and then we're going to have a little bit of a race up the, uh, the KOM. And, and then, then the sprint uh, after. Do we no. do the sprint after, or do we do the sprint on this social lap? No, sprint, sprint after. after. Um, you're going to be dead otherwise. Yeah, yeah true. All right, and then we'll do the uh, we'll do the sprint after we've raced the KOM. About an hour's worth of cycling with okay. two efforts in it. Right. So warm up. So maybe. Oh, you could do the volcano climb as well. Oh, nothing. Oh, no, sure. no. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. That That's why he's only just Tim, and I'm the <laughs> Marcus Neil and the Jesper Anchor. We agree. <laughs> We're the guinea pigs. Yeah. Full disclosure, if I do get beaten by Jesper, it's because I had a service station fish and chips for dinner <laughs> last night, and it's not sitting particularly well with me. Uh, and I had a McDonald's the previous night, which is still there, I think. What do you get from McDonald's? What do you I've got, got to a, um, I've got, uh, what's the biggest one, a Big Tasty? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, no, that's good. I don't, whoa. <laughs> I don't like um, I don't like the Big Mac sauce or anything. So really? Yeah. So Big Tasty is like a proper plain grilled, more like a Burger King than a McDonald's. Yeah, but Burger King. Oh, we've had this discussion before. Oh, uh, this discussion has <laughs> no. been had. Oh no, what on the last what's, thing? What's better, Burger King or McDonald's? Burger King. There we go. We're both wrong. Although it's okay. Now that McDonald's do the Big Tasty, I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Now they do that, it's it's close. Like, Hashtag uh, not an ad. <laughs> not an ad. Yeah. There are other fast food restaurants <laughs> available. No, we drove down to uh, Liverpool. Liverpool to fly the jersey. Right. And we literally discussed the entire way there. What's better, 
Burger King or McDonald's. It was an Instagram uh, poll as well. Yeah. Wasn't it? It's like 30 votes McDonald's, 30 votes. I think that must be one of those discussions that everybody's had at some point in their life, and they tend to get quite heated. And on that note, if you just tune in and you're hearing fast food and McDonald's, <laughs> we're going to burn those calories tonight. So, give us a few seconds while we share in all the right groups, but that is in fact the Marcus Neal. And that is the guest banker. <laughs> that's that's going to get old real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're watching. We're, we're drunk on self-importance today, aren't we? Right? <laughs> I like the kit, Marcus. How long does that take to decide? Uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you, uh, if you read some of the comments, then you'd think it took about 20 minutes. Really? No, it's actually a very carefully considered um, approach to, uh, to kit design. Not, it, not just the look, but the, the materials, okay. the fit. Obviously, I'm not. I wasn't the model that I had in mind when, when it was designed. But uh, no, it took it took a while, a couple of weeks to be totally happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm pleased with it. Quite a few people are, I think. We broke with. We broken with. That's what happens when you get the Jess Banger. <laughs> Could you? Uh... Darren Hunter still doesn't understand what it says on the front. <laughs> Yeah, he, he was one of the ones that uh, doesn't appreciate fine design. Sorry, Darren. Hunter. Sorry, Darren. <laughs> Marcus Neal's in the building. As always, there's that love counter up above. Marcus, you know what we do at uh, 10 loves? Yep. We up the intensity. Okay, so we want nine loves today. That's all we want. <laughs> so if we get to 10 loves, we'll do the climb in the biggest gear you got. What are we on now? We are... On two. Oh, that happened very quickly. <laughs> I'm not liking this. Just starting out, letting people have their lunch, get on. We're up to four loves now, five loves. Oh no, it's, it's going to happen, isn't it? We're not even. It always happens. Yeah. Uh, We're maybe not the first carry. Even like, oh, we get to 100, I'll do a triathlon. <laughs> Shoot, we get to 100. I wonder how many of those loves have come from people that have started doing the Raz and are thinking, <laughs> oh. that was the most ridiculous idea ever. Let's make this bloke perfect. So WKG, yep. probably the nicest team once with. I think so. Yeah, definitely. They are. They're so friendly. There's, um, it's competitive. But, you know, there's rivalry, pretty fierce rivalry in quite a lot of our races. But it is always done with good spirit and good grace. Nobody's, nobody's disappointed with the results for reasons other than being fairly beaten by somebody faster than them. And uh, it's always done with a smile. And to be honest, I'm normally the sort of the carrot that people want to beat. So if they beat me in a race, they're happy with whatever the rest of the results were. See, and that happens most weeks. So. I know how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Especially when our crowd sponsor, Pedal Power, says, in today's group ride, whoever beats Jesper wins a beat on. <laughs> and I go, what? Look at that pressure. Thank you very much, Russ. Where are we at now? We're at six loves, guys. Oh, man. We've only just, we've done what? 2.6 kilometers. Yeah, about 10 minutes. Oh, are you excited for tomorrow? I really am. Excited and absolutely crapping myself. <laughs> I've watched far too many videos of Hard Knot and... Oh. Is, it, is it Rhinos? Is yes. that the right. We did Rhinos last time I was up here. Right. I'll be really pleased to tick it off the bucket list. It's one of those... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to say it's one of those rides that I've always wanted to do, but I didn't actually know much about it. But having now read about it, it's it something I'd like to do. Yeah. And uh, I've checked out the Strava KOMs, so obviously I've got a number to aim for. James Gullens, got, yep. got it. it Ten minutes. It. Yeah. I checked out the WKG KOMs as well, and I think it's Matt Ferguson's done it in. Oh, I can't remember. But Thirteen minutes or something. Oh, so I'm, I, I want to be the best WKG. -er. Good luck. I'm <laughs> not. The I secret was, is that Tim push you all the yeah. way. Yeah. I'm just going to give Tim my um, my Wahoo. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think we've been 10. Oh, for crying yeah. out loud. 10 loves. Thanks, everyone. Now you got to do it. Right, so, biggest gear, KOM. Yeah, when well, we do it, yeah. Okay, yeah. so. Everybody get ready. Uh, all right. Oh, my biggest ring rattles like hell. That's okay. Right, oh, are, you, are you with me? Are you with me? I'm ready. Go, go. Right, here we go. I'm this just gonna ready. A, it's going to be a lesson in how not to pace a KOM in a big ring. It's going to be a grind. Yeah, I'm not liking my chances already. I'm going for this. Six 
suddenly go very, very quiet here. <laughs> Come on, boys! <laughs> Come on! Some proper what's been thrown down. Look at the pain face on that! <laughs> Come on, boys! I'm gone, guys. Go on, ride it out. Go on, Jesper. The 157. Ah. 203. Oh my lord. <laughs> Who's stupid idea was that? Get some fluid on board. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> well done, man. Oh. That is stupid. That is stupid. That was a 203, Marcus. I'm pleased with the time. I'm not pleased with what I had to do to get it. <laughs> Okay guys, 20 laps, we'll do the sprint in the smallest gear, <laughs> smallest ring. Spinners are winners. I want to see Marcus hit 200 RPM. You <laughs> can see me hit 200 BPM. You're much better at this chill pace than I am. You always seem to drop me. I'm going to take you back. That's my sweet spot. <laughs> I can drop you on a chill ride. Right? <laughs> Come on, win for WKG. I can drop Jesper when we're both doing less than 100 watts. <laughs> so, kicker or dribble? <laughs> well, it's hard, I've just beaten my PB by some way, I think, on the kicker. So, in terms of feel, there's not much in it. So, sprint off is coming up. Yeah. Smallest gear. We oh, we don't have any clear. We're, we're at I'm not 13 loves. I'm only got 20. So, we need seven more. Seven more loves. Yeah, you, guys, this you have about four minutes to do so. Alright, here we go. You go first, Marcus. Come on. Hang on a minute. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll catch up. How close are you going? Just behind you. Yeah, you right. better go now. Are you coming, eh? Yeah. Now go, 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 go. So, uh, this is my tactic. I got nothing. Marcus, who is this one? Oh! Yes! You're the only one that matters! <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheers, Steely! Hey! <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> so, again, okay, guys, later tonight, Marcus Neal is doing a workout live right here. He's suffering. <laughs> I'll be pretending to do a workout. Ah. So again guys, if you're just tuning in here and cycling up, you're wondering what's happening, Marcus Neal, for some odd reason thought, it's going to be a great idea to come up here to Tim and Jesper. It's a bit easy we get. And suffer. I, I, thought, I, I thought we were going to have a weekend of living like a student or something. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this wasn't, wasn't what it was like when I was a student. What was it like when you were a student? Oh, I'd still be in bed for a start. <laughs> So you're doing Flanders and Roubaix? Yep. Back to back weekends. Oy. That's serious. All oh, out. Stupid. You've done it before. I've done Flanders. You've done Flanders, I don't know. You've done Flanders, have you? No. No. I've done Ride London three times. Yeah, I've done it twice. Ride London. I've got a feeling Roubaix and Flanders back to back is going to be a little bit harder than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 4.14 on Ride London. Yeah, I was close to that. Get it, get it done. Yeah, I was, I was very close to that. <laughs> Four days, 14 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been giving it the big end about Ride London with um, a certain team member who seems to be my key rival every time we do anything, Kev Stephen. Yeah. And he absolutely destroyed me. <laughs> and then, to make things worse, he did his new FTP the other day and absolutely destroyed me on that oh. as well. Shall I ever go up to 4K or no? Come on, can we go on this? 
You take my bike. You need to be hit on your chin. There's no way you can feel like that. I'll get on that. What, yeah, dress, like, dress like this. No, you don't have to race me. Okay. But I'll put I'll put a time down as well. All right. So you did one fifty six. Yeah. Fi- no. No, I think it's one fifty seven. Are you predicting a two oh five? One fifty seven point nine. Nice. Oh, you know Tim is going to obliterate. He's, he's thinking two oh five. Not a chance. I did two oh three. Tim is going to do a one forty two. Yeah. He's going to break my bike. I'm going to chase him. Right, I've got to. So uh, that was with effect again. You can't, I can't just let him go. I'm going to have to try and chase him. But now in the chat, they have to predict how many meters <laughs> before you blow up chasing <laughs> Tim. Or, the flip side for that, how much do you think I will beat Tim by? Oh. Right. This is going to be good. Biggest gear, biggest ring. What? Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah uh, you have to do that, yeah, that's the only fair, I thought we did. fair way of judging. Biggest gear, biggest ring. Yeah. yeah. That's just stupid. Yeah. That's what I said. Alright, as soon as I see you, I'm going. Okay, now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm going to spin this one, man. <laughs> come on, Marcus, come on! I don't know where up, 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 come on! Come on, all the way! Tim isn't even sweating yet. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. Feel the beat. All right, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm fine. Anyone watching on my blog that doesn't have the benefit of the screen recording, Tim's been holding over 500 watts for his whole climb so far. He's not even sweating. <laughs> and here he goes. Now he's decided it's time to go. And he's done it in a time of 1.42. Alright, oh, that's just embarrassing. Oh, I got a, a Marcus Neil cramp coming off. <laughs> that's because you had to give everything you've got to beat me on that pair, weren't you? Yeah. I was cruising. <laughs> <laughs> with a view to what's to come tomorrow and later today. I saw the camera footage. <laughs> you can put that in your vlog. That's, that's my cruising face. <laughs> my face was... <laughs> I'm fine. But you get halfway up and the lactic acid just kicks yeah. in and you're like shaking. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't realise I'm still on the KOM that Tim finished about a half an hour ago. That's, that's how I felt with the pretzels. I take my time to get shower, get food, go out shopping, come back and oh yes, we're half a one to go, let's go! <laughs> and that, oh. ladies and gentlemen, has been the morning stream. Cheers, all. Oh, that's good, man. Ooh. Nice one. <laughs>